What's up guys, it's going to be a new video on the channel It's going to be exploring all the new operators So this is Ella, the new Polish operator The only Polish operator that came with us this season They're the guns that she has uh, She also has um, barbed wire and um, impact grenades or something A shotgun is only, I think it's four, five more, four or five like points, hits more powerful than anything else and her mind stick on walls stick on ceilings and you can stick them on floors and what they do is they give you like it's like Echo's drone they give you that kind of effect but a little bit less and they stop you from also sprinting and a great place to put them is above doors that the enemy's gonna breach and so that like obviously Ella's pistol also has a red dot sight on which is new to the Rainbow Six Siege meta. But beware when putting your mines down. If a teammate is nearby, they will concuss the teammate too. But there's the enemy. Say you want to shoot him, but then you back off. And then obviously you got your concussion mines. So all of them trigger. And while he can't sprint, and while he can't sprint, he hasn't been able to sprint away very fast or walk anywhere and can't really see. You go and kill him. So that's Ella. And also I will do it if you want me to do videos on other operators in the game, I will do that. Just comment below and say which ones. And now I'm gonna show you the attacking operator, Ying, from I think it's Hong Kong. The Hong Kong DLC. Uh she's got a assault rifle and a shotgun. The shotgun is a six has a six round mag. She also has smoke grenades, breaching charges, pistol does not have a a sight on it though, that was only for the Polish operator. But Ying has Candela charges. And the what they do, here. it's like fuse, but with flashbangs. And you can roll them along the floor and do whatever. So in a second I will show you exactly how to do that. And also just like a side note. When actually playing Siege, remember to find the objective, and if you want your drone to stay alive, don't do what I'm doing and keep scanning. You kind of hide it and hide the red lights. Right, this is it. The only thing with Ying is she is a three, three arm or one speed operator. And look, you can hold it for like one second, two second, three second. The longer you hold it, the longer you'll get, long, the longer it takes to set off. So. Right, and barbed wire also only takes two hits to set off now. Right, this is just my mate coming out to show me. Right, is it one, two, three? And also, you are, you are, you are immune to the flashes, but you're not immune to flash bangs. Set off one, set off straight away. And also, like I was saying, it's like fuse. So I'm gonna get my mate to stand on the other side of the wall and show you that he's concussed. Alright, go set it up. And obviously the longer you wait, longer you wait to put it down, so you get a different animation. You just put it in half, put it on the wall. And you send them all through. Exactly like Fuse. And uh, Ying would also be very good to accompany Fuse, because you could flash the room with your charges, and then while the enemy's stunned, you could send Fuse in, and Fuse, well, Fuse is the room, and then no one can see where they're running. So... Fuse can get a good couple of kills. Right now, the other Hong Kong operator. Um, oh, what is his name? I totally forgot his name. Sorry. Uh, he also Leisure. And that's it. He has like poison mines, invisible poison mines, so they're very OP when stepped on. Initially, when they're stepped on, you get minus ten health, and then over time, it will you'll get. We need to protect yeah, more ha more like damage over time, and eventually until you're Obviously downed, put into the down button out stage. And this is his mine, and it goes completely invisible. But you do have a marker on. Obviously, you can see if you're concentrating in the general area, but they are very hard to see. And over time, over the round, you get seven of them. You get one at the start around, then it goes up to a second one, and a third one, and a fourth one, and a fifth one, etc. But, 
with his, you can only put them on floors. And I would, and I would, word of advice, if you're gonna lose, use Legion, put them in choke points. So where they're gonna enter, enter where they're gonna come from. And also, they can be taken out though. The poison darts can be taken out. So here's how that you get taken out. Right, you get five points. That's it. Then you get point to down them. But you can take them out. So if you put one down, got the five points, you could take them out. And then, the like when when they're pulling it out the leg, you could go over and kill them because they can't cancel it. But to and for them to be down, it does take a long time. Like me and my mate. Just in there for good, probably 30 seconds, probably a little bit longer. I was just experimenting with the ceiling on this bit because I didn't know it broke. It does. And also, I found out something very interesting at the end of this that you'll see. So, put them into downward out stage, but cannot kill them. But, look at this. When you throw it at them, it physically doesn't kill them, doesn't do any damage. But, if they wiggle round onto it, when they're down, it kills them. Which, I, I did not know that. I didn't know that, so that would be good for you to know. And that was really it. So, I guess I'll, like, see you in the next one.